Hello fellow gamers, you always like this Quelix and today I am playing Underrail. Now I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Retrospective Gaming for putting out this game. It is supposed to be a classic RPG just like Fallout 1 and 2 was and uh, it got into my curiosity so um, I went and got the game. I got Bubsy too but hey you know screw that game. So we're going to be playing this. Now I want to warn you guys that we'll be putting out two playthroughs of this. Um, the YouTube playthrough will be on... Um, we'll be, uh, it's like a comment build, I'll put it like under real comment build, and, um, I'll be doing another one streaming, uh, soon on Twitch, and I'll kind of do it if, in, a, like, charisma that way, but, um, of course, if, if you see, if it's not live, don't worry, I'll try to put the, that build, uh, on YouTube, so, um, let's go in and enjoy the game. Now, yeah, we'll do normal difficulty. Uh, provides a lot of challenge on average hardcore game with less room for error in combat. Too hard for the taste. It's done with no amount of health. Okay. You gain experience with killing enemies, completing quests, you have certain skills. You can use by clicking on the scouter. But... Skill usage or killing. Okay, so, um. I think uh, the Twitch, the Twitch one, I'll I'll do oddity, but for, I'll, for now I'm just gonna do classic. All right, it's so time to um get our character, so you can do male, female. Okay, I'm playing Clelix. Um, and you do have you do have your hides. This is what the character will look like. Hopefully, I find a. a, a a guy that maybe kind of sort of looks like me. I mean, at least they got a lot of hoods. I mean, there's a lot of diversity. I like it. Okay, so that's all of them. So I'm just going to go back. I think I'll go with the guy with the with the, the gear on. Eh, maybe this guy is, does... That's pretty cool. Let me... Not that one. I saw another guy before that. Yeah, I think I'll go with this guy. Um... Alright, so you got... Okay, so you got strength, dexterity, agility, construction, perception, will, and intelligence. Now, um... I'm actually gonna read this silently and then I'll, I'll choose. Yeah, I don't think there's a lock. I I did see like some weird like power, so it does have some weird stuff. But actually, for this build again, for this build, this is a soldier combat build. So it, I'm not gonna focus on like magic or all that. Just like pure human stuff. Yeah, so actually, if you do want to do a stealth build, you should put more in agility, which is, which is cool, which is cool. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, Constitution has always been endurance. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Yeah, see side side points and all that. The the last one I heard about that was System Shock uh, two. Um, okay. And then, then you got import. I, I don't know what that is. I think it's like, actually I think import. It w and hopefully I don't get wrong about this, but it's like Fallout one and two did, where it's like you could import a build, and then if you want to make a new character, you just import, it and then that's it. So um, okay. So I'm gonna put in. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Eh, I'm an idiot. I'll put in eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put in eight in this. Hopefully, that's enough. Hopefully, that's it. And again, I apologize. You know, 
All right, so here we go. So you got 120 points. So hopefully, you know, I'm good with this. Now, ooh, and now I gotta be careful because there's a lot. There's a, a lot of stuff here. Okay, definitely, I definitely may want to put at least a bit in Intimidation, not Persuasion or Merchant Dow. Yeah, to see, there's like some, there's some Psy powers. That's cool. Okay, um... Yeah, okay, so, so I hate to do this. I'm gonna put 50... Okay, okay, that, that's it, that's it, okay. Um, I'll kind of... I'm, I'm gonna max out guns and melee. Kind of put in... Um... I'm sorry, I'll put in... I'll put in... Oh, what do... Not, not max... I don't want to max out Dodger Evasion. Um... Where's, uh, I'm trying to think, yeah, healing. Let's see, how, how much do I want to, okay, I'll put, I'll put it at 10. Um. Okay, maybe, me just put, yeah, I'll just put in 5 and 5 here. Oh, man, there's a lot. Okay, I'll max out intimidation. Oh, man. There's actually a lot of points I can put in here. Oh, let's see, feats. Oh, that's cool, just like with, um, Fallout. That's, man, these guys did their research. This is so cool. Um, let me read it. Uh, reduces all mechanical heat and cold damage taken by 10%, plus 1% for every point. Uh, so actually, um, based on, I guess, your base or your skills, whatever, like how much you had, you have to have, um, like, you know, Constitution 5 or whatever. Uh, I first want to do this though. I, again, I'm not going to focus on Psy or persuasion or mer actually maybe I could do maybe I could do a little bit of merchandise. J just five. I'm just only going to put that at five. Okay, maybe maybe put in uh, I'll put in nine for mechanics. Um, okay, maybe, yeah, maybe just a bit on throwing too. So I got, I got a few points left. Again, I don't want to max these out. Ugh, it's so hard. Uh, yeah, he, he does have some knowledge. Okay, that's it. Um, again, I, I want to put in some points. Ugh, it's so hard. Yeah. I, I hate to say, I don't want to use the cross... Okay, uh, again, I, I don't want to put points in something I don't want to use, but... Eh, I guess I got no no choice unfortunately, so I'll put that in. Okay, so now let's let's check the feats. Yeah, yeah, only the ones I can use. Um, twelve increase by or an R with R penalty of fifty percent or higher. Nah, you can perform an unarmed or fist attack that deals. Nah, all healing increased by twenty five percent and. Eh, maybe. You can safely navigate Calfrops or and Puddles of Acid. Nah. Nah. I just have to get you and you know it. Yeah, pack pack rat hound. Thank you. 
your non-crit firearm crossbow meal. Additional mechanical damage equal to your level. Um, I actually I don't want to do a uh, right now. I don't want to do a feat where it's like I'll. It's like oh you get this but you get that kind of the positive negative ordeal. Um, so unfortunately, I mean fast metabolism. I could do it. It doesn't look like, you know, it has no issues, like no negatives. Eh, I'll, I'll choose it. Let's see. So I, I think I got all of them. Yeah. So, so here we go. All right. Last topic, of course. Earthquake repairs. What situation at the South Tunnel? Gotta dig deeper to plan the explosives and will risk more damage in the tunnel. Most everyone is working ships up there. Should we do one now? Or see how securely working. Got one man the cave eggs and that's enough. As far as I'm concerned, one man security is strong enough there, and as long as we know the cross wall and the cold are clear, no one can see up on us, okay? Let's go one man at the under passages. It's in order not to open the gate no matter what. Those who need right now, there's bloody workers sneaking up on us. I'm also up the platforms to get workers and tunnels. And no one is even else to add, that will conclude this council meeting. Just one more thing. Station. Let's go to I should have said Clay and said Clay looks damn it. But anyways, what the hell. Yes, I think it would be a good division at this station. Actually, well, I'll say this too, and I like the plot too. It, it plays a lot like Fallout, but it kind of has the plot of um, Metro, um, the Metro series. You know, the you know those Russian, the Russian apocalypse. They they're stuck in the tunnels instead of staying up like Fallout is. It's really good. Uh, okay. Anyways, continue reading. Yes, I think it'll be a good addition to the station. He invents or saw the range. This should be done any moment now, I believe. Too much trust in your test, Tanner. Look at how he handles live action. That we points he got. That's not enough. That's putting work immediately. We need all hands on deck right now. Forsky. Yeah, I think I should be coming in pretty soon. You know, I expect a yawn. I, I like this too, you know, the. It's in formatted in green, so it's like an action they're doing, kind of like, of course, the Dungeons and Dragons uh, does. I like that. And I expected to yawn and rub Svensson. He said, Wait, he's not paying the cover his mouth. Who can he's wearing a respirator? I swap who's one my face. Dude, this very fat. I've never seen that for so many hours of testing. These kinds of lapses, they sneak up on people. Excuse me. Oh no, as far as I'm so we're done here. I feel like we need to do more once you wait having our go at the testing range. Stay here any longer. I can't tell you that. Nah. Read. So we're done here or I'll have to give it one more try. It's not as long as I can really enjoy your response, but still not. But no that won't affect your previous results. I guess it's best we go for the whole procedure as if this in the range. I'm not open the gate for you to throw. I'll be watching with the cameras. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. So general stuff come. Yeah, the combat feed. Right click on your creature inspect your health and sass effects. Quick Invoker, I like Usables, and Turn. Yeah, okay, that's good. And Combat. Quick Load. Now, no offense, what I'm trying to do is um, see if um, I can zoom in. Uh, again, unfortunately, let me, let me look at the controls. Swap Weapon, okay. Yeah, 
okay. Um, let me see if I could do yeah, 90, 20, and 1080. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. Um, don't again. The only issue I'm having right now is it's a bit. Um, I wish I could zoom in. That's that's all I'm saying, but. Okay. okay, I think the I think the gates were here. Want to clear? Great. Then pick up your weapons and all from the cabinet. I saw some few EMPs off the shelf as well. Okay, I have to press the tab to highlight all interact ball address. You reverse the order. Can be picked up by your double clicking them in the container or dragging them in the inventory. Free bots again, again. Um, there'll be free bots fighting you, just like the first time. So choose an appropriate weapon. Make sure you wear that armor. Or put on. Didn't it? those bots out? Bring me when you're ready to proceed. Or you have any questions? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. It's a. It's a medium speed. It looks like a pistol. Yeah, it's a handgun. Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry. I think he's moving. <laughs> okay, so a vest. Put that vest on. A hammer. That's good. A knife. Yeah, take take all. A crossbow. Okay, I could dual wield. That's great. Yeah, so, so let's see, a crossbow, some bolts, and a steel comet knife. Now, you know, I'll go blunt, I'll go kind of a blunt on this. Okay, the intercom. Uh, okay, yeah, let me just read all this because I'm... Be prepared and fight smart. Brute force will only get you so far. Yeah, it's turn-based, and I'm okay with this. Actually, if I did have a little story, I hated turn-based, but when I played Fallout 1, I was like, hey, you know, it's actually good. Sure, it, it kind of sucks sometimes. Well, actually, uh, I'm sorry, I gotta correct myself. I played Shadowrun. That's, that was my first kind of turn-based RPG I played. Points are marked yellow can be used for a moment only. Action points are marked green can be used for attacking, placing traps, using terms of game world objects as well. Technically, you can use whatever you feel suits you the best. Best your bots to draw pretty well armor. If you want to slash rat hounds, bots, you want to use some like high cover armor piercing bullets. Be sledgehammers rather than say. The middle armor natural bells is actually to wear. So I'm fit to to avoid the same my enemies. Yeah, flashbangs, stun electrical weapons.
Okay, so I just right click it and then put it in in your wall because you use bolts directly from the inventory. Yeah, okay, so. Um, looks like I'm good to go, so I'll go and start the, the first fight. Okay, so... Okay, I can move, so... Um, I'll, let's see, let's see what this stealth mode, pickpocket, burst... That's my fault. Yeah, I guess all my turn. Thank God for the sentry bots, you know? Okay, it does work. Yeah, I'm, tr yeah, I'm trying to thank you. You have to... It's very, I think it's very easy. Just right-click and then... Oh yeah, but I need more action points. You can just skip. Move a bit closer and hit it. Okay, I think I'll just uh, switch weapons. Oh, okay, I guess. Oh, good job. Yes, I want you to pick up the ice out walker. Or two walk picks inside. Use the walk pick to walk the door. And next one we'll have to. Okay, actually, I am curious to see how walk picking mode goes in. So, here we go. And actually, I want to warn you guys that I think I'm only just going to do the tour of them. I'm going to head straight to uh, the Twitch live stream for this. Um, okay, anyways, back to the game. He's going to be on the door. And next one we'll have to walk the locker. So close your hands up first, you want to open that thing, walk pick. Yeah, energy, where's the battery? Okay, there we go. Okay, we got good. So, I would say it, it's a lot like, um, I'm trying to think. It's a lot like Vampire the Masquerade, 
uh, bloodline where depending on your skill and you know it takes time you know but it automatically puts it in so it's not bad I don't Can hopefully I, I don't know the thing doesn't break. Yeah, okay. Box. Okay, there we go. So it's very simple. You just right click the thing and then it goes in. Simple as that. Okay. What's in the box? Uh, nothing. Okay. Good. Good. Now for the final roll. You you got one sentry bot and a camera. Try to sneak around the bar if you can. We'll not shut down after one hit, just to let you know. So that's it for the tutorial. It it wasn't bad. I, I'm surprised I I gone for sneaking, but and actually the sneaking wasn't bad too. But I liked it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Of course, I will be putting out more um, soon, and of course, see my Twitch uh, stream coming in soon with this. So again, hope you enjoyed this. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you, fellow gamers and bronies. Later.